So I hope you have been learning great so far and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to use gauge visualization. So we are going to add new panel, gonna add an empty panel and then we are going to use gauge. Okay now in gauge we have two types of gauges. We have gauge, standard gauge visualization and then we have bar gauge. So we are going to learn to use uh, each of these. Now I'm just going to discard it for now and let's also just remove this panel and what I'm going to do is uh, just going to duplicate this panel and then I'm going to show you how to edit a panel and also going to show you how we can change it to a gauge panel. So I'm just going to click on edit and I'm going to continue using the same query and then in the table visualization whatever we see here I'm going to change it to a gauge visualization and now you can see this is how you know we are able to uh, see this data now it is showing uh, it is showing everything just in one value or basically it's not showing for each mount point this because we have changed the visualization and here in the format we have also just selected table so we we should be changing it to time series so once i change it to time series we can now see the data for each of these mount points now I don't want this mount point I just want to see the name of the mount point I don't want to see this mount point label so for that we need to use curly braces and we need to say mount point and curly braces again so this is how it is showing now now remember one thing uh, essentially the data which was coming in this uh, in in this is actually coming in bytes and then we selected the units uh, to be uh, we select the units to be bytes and that's the reason we see here data in human readable format but uh, behind the scene data is still in bytes so the reason why I told you this that we are going to use thresholds and let's say I want to create threshold and anything which is having more than 97% of data I want to uh, I want to have different color for that so 97 uh, let's say if I want to I'm just going to quickly convert 97 or let's quickly convert anything more than 95 MB to bytes and this is the bytes which we have so I'm going to put this bytes here and then I'm going to add one more threshold and this this time I'm going to uh, change the color to red anything for which we have uh, let's say anything over and above one gigabyte so let's say it's going to be 1024 megabyte which is 1 GB and just going to copy it here and I guess we should be changing it to 8 and I'm gonna change it to red color okay so this is how we can use uh, gauges and we can also change the color of these gauges now I'm going to click on apply and you can see how different or uh, how different it looks like from the one which we have used for table visualization okay so you can use you can play around you can you can uh, beautify your dashboards depending on the you know sort of information you which you want to show here now the same thing I can also show it using uh, bar bar gauge so I'm just going to do another duplication and then we are going to edit it again and now we are going to select bar gauge and once we select bar gauge you can see now this is already changed okay so changing format uh, between one gauge to another is quite simple I'm just going to click on apply and now I'm also going to duplicate it again and going to change uh, I'm going to see different type of option available for this bar gauge so we are going to scroll down and once we scroll down in bar gauge we have we can see we have display mode and we have gradient we have retro LCD if you select retro LCD this is how it is going to look like and you have option of selecting basic so for example let's say we select retro LCD and then I'm going to click on apply and then again I'm just going to duplicate it one more time and this time I'm going to edit it again and now I'm going to change it to from uh, vertical we are going to change it to horizontal okay and this is how it is going to look like also I'm going to change it to basic I'm going to click on apply and I'm going to resize it I'm going to make it little smaller and I'm going to fit it here so these are you know different visualizations which you can use and I hope this session was uh, full of learning. See you again in the next lesson.